I shouldn't be on this. I should actually be on the emblem ring menu. Alright, so yeah, for, we now have Ike, the Ring of the Radiant Hero. So, um, Ike is basically the, the arm, it, he's kind of like an armor knight emblem in my opinion. And I think mm -hmm. that's how most people would use him. Like, he gives strength, defense, and defense, strength, hit points, and defense. And he gives at max 7 HP, 4, four strength, and 5 defense, which this, that's really good at max. Like, at mm -hmm. max level. Um, he comes with, um, I guess we can start off with his, uh, skill inheritance. He comes with, like, he mainly focuses around defense, and the defense skills, I feel like, are pretty cheap. Like, the first one's only 100 HP, 100 SP, but the max one is 2,000 SP, which, that's kind of, like, that's not bad. Like, if you compare that to strength, mm -hmm. it's like 5,000. That's kind of a bargain, actually, in my opinion. Um, yeah, comes... no, I, I like that skill. Mm -hmm. Like, it's ba it's good for budget, in my opinion. Yeah, it's cheap and effective. He comes with Resolve, which, unfortunately, this is not like the Resolve from Radiant Dawn or Path of Radiance. This is basically, if, you're, if your unit is below 75% or less HP, they get plus 5 defense and res as long as they're below um, 75 HP, which, that's really good. And it works really well with Aether if you're able to work around it. Comes with reposition, which I'm glad that he comes with this as an inheritable seal because drawback you can only get from the Elliewood um, bond ring at S rank and swap and pivot are class skills from Paladin in general. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you get a positional skill, and I'm glad that if it's if one had to be inheritable, I'm glad it's reposition. Like this is mm -hmm. one of the best repositional skills you can ever get. Yeah. I don't care what game. I don't care if it's heroes. I don't care if it's three houses. This is a skill that's worth inheriting. Mm -hmm. Hell, I even inherit sometimes for budget or just for, like, if I can't think of any other right. skills to, like, inherit. It's never a wrong choice. Yeah, and it only costs, um, 200 SP, actually. Hmm. Um, and let's see. Um, um, so yeah, this is all skill inheritance. Um, at level, he comes with axe power, which, oh god, like, the, like, let me see, what does the first one cost? The first one is a thousand, and max, it costs five thousand. Axe power is just no. Like it's just like sword power. It's just it's nice, mm -hmm. but I just feel like the it's too much to cost. And plus, okay. even for like a skill slot. Um, at level yeah. thirteen, he comes with wrath. And at the start of combat, if his HP is has if he has lost for every point of HP he has lost, he gets one. He gives you one point of crit. However, the max you can go up to is thirty. That's really really good. Like. Mm -hmm. For you, it's like for, for like Panette or Linden that get crit skills for their personal skills, they make really good use of Wrath. And I would know I'm using Linden right now, and he's really good with Wrath and his personal skill. With, he's killing everything with, with a lot of HP, too, do really well with it. Uh huh. It, and plus, even if they don't have a lot of HP, it combos well with Great Sacrifice from Micaiah when you get her back. Mm -hmm. Um, he also comes with um, Resolve Plus, which is basically the same thing as Wrath, but instead of plus 5, it's plus 7. So, yeah, Ike's per, um, skill inheritance, it's like, it's meh, I would say. Like, Resolve is good, mm -hmm. um, Wrath is really good, and Reposition is good, but other than that, that's all he's really got going for him. I think I'm just going to go down the middle with his, um, mm -hmm. with his skill inheritance, because with being 3 out of 5. Also, I should have mentioned, Resolve is 1,000, while... Resolve plus is two thousand. So, I mean, his per like and plus wrath is also two thousand. So his his skill inheritance, it's not a lot, but for what it is, like it's most like resolve and wrath cost a lot in my opinion, even like the base version of wrath. So, but I think he does, it's worth it because he those are some pretty good skills like resolve and wrath. Though mm -hmm. I feel like if you're gonna go for one of them, go for wrath because. You can't go wrong with Wrath on most of your units. But as far as Skill Inheritance goes, he's alright. He's okay. Reposition is good too. Alright, that's all I have to say. Do you have yeah. anything to add, Crystal? Yeah, um, I like his skills. They're very straightforward. Um, and, like, they're useful for something. You know, every single one of them has its use. Oh, yeah. I, wait, Again, before you. With Axe Power. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Just before you continue, yeah, Demolish is terrible too. I'm not. Just no, don't don't inherit it. Oh that. yeah, no, absolutely not. It costs two hundred, um, but still don't inherit it. Sorry, that's yeah, all I want to say. Axe power, of course, we've been over with the power skills, how they cost too much for what they give you. Mm -hmm. Um, 
But it's like you said, like he's the emblem for your armored units and his skills definitely show it. You can get defense, you can get a power skill, and then that power skill goes really well with one of his um, sync skills, which we'll go over later. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, he's definitely filling all the boxes for the uh, hit hard and have high defense type of unit. So yeah, your armors. Um, I do love Wrath. I think Wrath is super useful and you can use it, like you said, like pretty much any unit can benefit from Wrath. Um, and then Resolve is also good. Like you can pair Wrath and Resolve and have a really solid combo there. Or you could pair Wrath with um, Brute Force and that's also a really solid combo. Like Wrath think... and Resolve both can be combined with other skills to make really amazing yeah, I combinations. Think I think the reason why Resolve is here is because they know that people in Radiant Dawn or Path of Radiance do the Wrath Resolve combination. Like I know I, exactly. Like, come on, it's so obvious that why. But I know like, this isn't the Resolve we know and love from Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it's still good, but it's not not quite the same. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I I'm also gonna go middle of the road, uh, three out of five stars, just because he's got. He's got some really good skills, like Resolve and Wrath are really amazing, but then he's got Demolish and Axe Power. Yeah, you know? that's why, like, but, if he had, like, bear skills and that, I would probably give him four, but those mm -hmm. those make me have to bump him down a few pegs, like, because no one oh, is going to inherit that, Demolish. <laughs> if he had Axe Focus, I would rather have that over Axe Power. Yeah, I don't think there was Give a... an Axe more hit. Yeah, that's what you need, which, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, this is not bad, but still, like, we need, like, focus skills yeah, like that. No. And the thing it's is, it's good in be... theory, it's just not, it's not cost effective. Yeah, and plus, they give focus skills to weapons that don't need focus, that need power, yeah. like, like, art focus, Bows. sword focus, bow focus, those are weapons that are accurate, like, they give focus skills to weapons that already are accurate enough, and they give power skills to, you, that, to weapons that need you know, not power, they need hits. They're, 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 it's kind of counterproductive, in my opinion. Yeah, okay. No, it's straightforward, and it works really well with armored units. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we can go over to the engage skills. So, um... Okay, here we go. All right, so now we can go over to the engage shield. So I comes with the goose friend, which you and takes fifty percent less damage, but sets you into void to zero. So this is why it's really good for armors because they take even less damage. And this is like this isn't just like defense. This is damage overall. And if you're a dragon, you take an extra ten percent, so it's sixty percent. And that's the, but the thing is though, dragons are the only one that get a special effect from the goose friend. No other unit, no other class type gets a special effect. Like. Mysticals don't get extra res, or Armor Knights don't take extra damage. Like, it's only dragons that work with Lugu's friend, but... I understand I understand why, though, because it's Lugu's friend. Yeah, I know. Actually, wait, but aren't, like, dragons, like, considered, like, Lugu's and, like, you know... Yeah, in Talios, dragons are Lugu's. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, just hold up one sec. I need to get my charger. Because my battery is a little bit low. Uh-oh. No, don't worry. It's fine. It's right here. All right. And then um, Ike comes with Great Aether, which, you know, this is obviously a Smash re reference because it's called Great Aether in that game. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Um, used to grant defense and rest plus five, but the unit can't counter for one turn. So once you use this, you're not going to be able to counter. And then the next turn, you attack within a two-space area r around you, and you heal 30% of your HP based on the damage you dealt. But and you can only use this with sword or axes only. And if you're a dragon, you do an extra point of damage for every, um, like, per hit taken. Now, you don't need to get hit. Like, the thing is, though, you don't need to, um, get hurt in order for this to damage. Like, if the enemy doubles you, you're gonna get, that's an extra two damage there. If the enemy hits you and you don't take any damage, that's an extra two hits right there. That's an extra mm -hmm. two damage you get. And for armors, they get an extra, um, let me see. 
Um, armors, I mean, I have it right here, but... No, I can, I'm just gonna show them because it's because even though yeah, might as well. Oh yeah, flying get an extra plus five res, and as you probably guessed from that, armors get an extra plus five defense. So yeah, um, great aether is really good. The thing I hate about Louis is that this is why I think Louis is like gets bumped, and why I think Jay's better than Louis because she can use any of the axes she has, mm -hmm. and the problem is that with Louis he's only gonna be he's gonna be restricted to the axes and sword that I get, which mm -hmm. that's the problem I have because with Jade she could use like silver axes, she could use a like killer axe, she could use any axe that she has forged. And Louis can't do that. That's my gripe about him. That's why I, I hate about Louis as a lance armor because, he, well, as an armor knight, that's that he is. Because with Hector, even he's restricted to the weapons that Hector comes with, as well as Ike's. Mm -hmm. And it sucks because they're both like Ike and Hector are considered armor knight emblems. For if I had to say, for, for lack of a better term, an axe armor, which Jade mm -hmm. is. But Louis is not. Hell, even Diamond uses better use of them because he uses swords and axes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's my problem with Louis. So though, um, I do think. Wait, was that you? Yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. No, it's all right. But um, yeah, I do think um, um, Ike's um, like I think Ike's um, like I'm not gonna say I think his. Engage skills have really come through for me in the late game or mid game of Engage. Like even Paralogs, like he is a really good emblem. I can't see myself benching this emblem. It's too good. Even without Great Aether, the Goose Friend is so useful for tanking in certain scenarios. And yeah, um, I can't think of anything bad to say about. It. Like Great Aether, obviously I know a lot of people. Like you can definitely like get do some crazy strats with Great Aether, like, and I definitely plan on taking advantage of this. I think, you know, I'm actually going to rate these skills 5 out of 5 stars, because the mm -hmm. fact that the Goose Friend reduces the damage you take in Great Aether, even though Louis, like, I'm not rating this with Louis, I'm rating the Emblem itself. And I right. think Great Aether and the Goose Friend as M engaged skills are really good. Like, taking mm -hmm. less damage and boosting your defense and res, and then damaging enemies within a two-space radius... That's really good. Really good. I can't mm -hmm. say anything bad about that. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, this is very obviously a emblem meant for armor units. Um, and, yeah, with Lagoose Friend especially, be like, oh, well, your void goes down to zero. Well, your armor knights aren't dodging shit anyway. So, yeah, like, if we you know, take this... <laughs> they're not dodge tanks, they're tanks. Yeah, like, Louis already has zero speed, so, like, it's like, what's the point? Like, he already has zero void, and that's without taking... That's, this is, with, like, us taking it off him. Like, like, does that... Like, seriously, like, Lucina and Lynn boosts speed, and look, he's not getting speed from them. Yeah, your armor tanks are... I mean, obviously, tanks, I can... Not dodge tanks. Obviously, I can I can switch his weapon, but even if I switch his weapon, I right. think his speed's, like, garbage. It's like, still gonna be really low. Yeah, his speed's seven. Like, even seven. with, like... No, this is an like this is a like an emblem made for made mm -hmm. for this is a yeah. this is an emblem made for armor units. Yeah, no and then you slice if it. you do like decide to use them on Jade and you do decide to make the big investment and get axe power, then that avoid minus ten doesn't matter anyway, because avoid is zero. Yeah. But yeah, and then great aether, you can do a lot of shenanigans with that. Um Assigned decoys especially really because the goose friend has damage, so it's like, yeah, you can safely potentially safely put Louis in the line of a mage with great ether activated and he will probably live because of Lagoo's friend yeah and the thing is though that if he gets damaged he's just gonna heal he's gonna heal yeah, most of the damage right back up. up yeah yeah well yeah so I I agree I'm gonna give this five out of five all right and last but not least, we have to go over the engaged weapons, which these are definitely... Uh, I have some... I think it's pretty good, these weapons, though, I will say. I love these weapons. Alright, so... No, wait, that's Lucina. There we go. Ike. So, yeah, Ike has, comes with a hammered base. This is a really good hammer. Like, this is... Mm -hmm. like, this is why I think this hammer is better than the hammer that you actually get, because I think the regular hammer has eight mites. This one is a smash weapon, though. And it has 18, so that's 
36 might this thing has against an armor unit. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, it can't fall off for strike first. And the thing I will only say that's bad about it is basically the hit. Like, 55 hit is obviously mm -hmm. garbage. But if you, like, seriously, though, like, it's really, really good. This hammer. Like, I can't mm -hmm. say anything bad about it. Like, I see it usually one shine armor units for me. It's literally, like, the one smash weapon that I actually regularly use. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, seriously, I even use this, like, during, like, Great Ether, though. Mm-hmm. Because, like, like there are, like, times when I have, like, a bunch of, like, Great Knights and Armored units, like, at me. And if mm -hmm. I Great Aether them, now, like, remember, Great Aether heals the 30% of the damage you deal. So, yeah. With a hammer, um, this one especially, with Great Aether against Armored Knights and, like, just Great Knights, they really, this hammer puts in work. That's all I can say about it. And plus, mm -hmm. if you use Great Aether, you don't have to worry about it because you're not going to counterattack anyway. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Urban, and this is a really good axe. Like, this is an, mm -hmm. an, like 21 might. 90 hit. 90 hit. This is the most accurate axe you're ever going to see. And 5 crit. 19 weight is a little bit bad, but it does give plus 3 res as well. But the thing is, though, this is not a smash weapon. Usually, smash weapons only have this much might if they're smash. If only weapons that have this much might are usually smash weapons. No, this is a regular axe that has 21 might and 90 <laughs> hits. This is a crazy axe. This is a really good weapon. And yeah, then it's there's, insane. And then there's the Ragnar, which it has, it has 16 might, 80 hits, 5 crit, 15 weight. So it does weigh, it weighs less than the Urban. It has 5 less might, 10 less hit. But the thing is, it gives plus 5 defense. And it's a 1 to 2 range option. Now, you do need to complete Ike's Paralog in order to get it. But honestly, his Paralog is pretty easy. So, it's not that mm -hmm. big of a deal. So, yeah. This emblem is... These emblem weapons are really, really good for Ike. Like, all of them, I feel like, serve a certain niche. Like, the hammer's really good for Great Aether and just, like, just decimating armor knights. The Urban can help you out with boosted hit or just, re just really good against, like... Has really good damage, and the Ragnell is a good one to two range option that you know has really good mites. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I have nothing bad to say about this. Um, these weapons five stars, like all like these engaged weapons yep. deserve five stars. Yeah, no, literally, you covered everything. These weapons are pretty much like this is as good as, as it gets with engaged weapons, like. These are all solid options, and you're going to find a use for all of them. It's not like most of the other <laughs> engage weapons where there's like one or two or all of them <coughs> that you're never going to use. Yeah, like all three of these, you're going to use them. Yeah. Um, five out of five stars. All right, so that covers the engage weapons. And yeah, so yeah, I guess a pretty good emblem. Like good for arm, but mm -hmm. it's, he works best with the armor units. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. When we come back, we're going to be doing... Actually, I think I'm, we might do three paralogs next time. Doing the Ooh, Ike okay. paralog, because I can finish that mm -hmm. paralog pretty quickly. Like, in four turns. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, you know how, like, if you know how to clear it. Um, if like, you know, oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, all Chris, I know, like, he's going to be essential to clearing that paralog fast. And then we'll do Lin, and then we'll do Hector. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.